my name is Tuli and today I will take you through a user training directed to the recruitment leads in the system. Firstly, to get you started, we'll have a look at the general navigation in the system and then we'll look at creating a job. Let's get started. When you first log into the Team Tele platform, you'll be taken to the dashboard view, which you can see here. On the top left corner, you'll have your main navigation buttons, jobs, candidates and promotions. On the right hand side, you'll have your quick action buttons such as to do's, messages, meetings and your notifications. On the top right corner is where you'll be able to find your profile settings. Inside your profile settings, what we recommend you to do is to set up your basic details, connect your calendar in the meetings tab, set up your notification settings and in the settings tab you'll also be able to customize your email signature. Today we will mainly focus on creating a job in the system but in the future once you have created those jobs and you have candidates applying you'll be able to find them in your candidate pool inside the candidate tab. To create jobs in the system you'll do that in the jobs tab. In here you'll be able to see all the jobs you have created and all the ones that you have been added to as part of the hiring team. If your jobs list is longer than mine, you'll also have the opportunity on filtering to find your relevant jobs. To create a new job in the system, you'll need to click onto the pink plus button here on the right hand side. From there, you'll be able to choose the template you want to use when creating a new job. Firstly, Add your job ad title and description. If you want some help writing the description, you can use our AI Assistant Copilot to help you do so. Into the pitch section, you'll be able to summarize the key details of your job ad, which will also be shown on the SEO of your job ad. Beneath that, you'll be able to show the department, role, locations, and your remote status opportunities. With the response time, you can show the candidates how quickly you are expected to respond to their applications. In the colleagues section, you'll be able to show some future colleagues of this specific position. In the appearance, you can customize how your job ad is going to look like by writing a button text, choosing a page template, adding an image, and making some color changes. The next step in creating a job will be the application stage. Here you can customize what kind of personal details you would like to receive from the candidates when they apply. You will also be able to add some of your own questions that you want candidates to answer to when they're applying. In the responses section, you can see the default response that all candidates will receive as well as the reject message that you can choose to send the candidates whenever you're rejecting them. The next step in creating your job ads is to customize the recruitment process that your candidates are going to be going through. Inbox and Hired are always stationary, but all these other stages you can completely customize. If you click on the three dots here, you'll be able to rename your stages or completely delete some. You will also have the opportunity of adding your own stages by either choosing one from the drop down menu here or writing your own one. Remember to also select a stage type which will reflect onto the analytics. Once a stage has been added, you can simply just drag and drop it to wherever you want it to be in the recruitment process. Once you are happy with the stages you've set up, you'll also be able to add some stage actions to help you optimize your recruitment process. In the stage actions, you'll be able to set up some guide times, deadlines, quick reject function, and also anonymous mode that can help you keep your recruitment unbiased in any of the stages you want. In the stage actions, you'll also be able to find our triggers add-on feature that can help you optimize some parts of the recruitment process such as sending messages to candidates, scheduling interviews, or sending out surveys. You can also automatically move candidates in your process depending on the answers of the questions you added as part of the application stage. 
When you click to use the Smart Move trigger, you can customise the question that you want candidates to answer to, which stage they should be moved to, and what they should answer to that question. For example, here, the way that I have set it up is that all candidates need to answer yes to this question in order for them to be able to move into my reviewing stage. You will also be able to add some actions onto the rejected side. So the candidates can, for example, get an automatic survey after they've been rejected at a certain stage. The next step is for you to add an evaluation onto your job ad. Here you will be able to list some skills and traits that you would like for an ideal candidate to have. These skills and traits can easily be found on the drop down menu and you can simply just add the ones that you feel are the most relevant ones. Once those skills and traits have been added, you can also give them a weight on how important they are for this particular role. If your company is also using our add-on feature called interview kits, you will be able to add them from here. These interview kits are a way for your hiring managers to know what kind of questions they should ask during interviews and what kind of skills and traits they should be assessing. The final step in creating your job ad is to add the hiring team. If your company has pre-created some hiring teams, you will be able to add them from here. Otherwise, you can simply add users to the hiring team from the drop-down menu here. Before publishing your job, you will also have some final actions that you can take. You can add tags to your jobs. You can set publish dates and end dates. You can pin your job to the top, meaning that it will be the first job on your internal jobs list as well as on your career site. After saving your job as a draft, you can also go and preview the job ad, how it would look like to the candidates. Once you are finally ready to publish the jobs, you can click onto the pink publish button here. As you can see, your job has now been successfully published. Up the top here, you would be able to see all the job boards that your job is currently getting sent to if your platform is live. And if you scroll down on the page, you can also activate any additional job boards. If you feel that you also need job board related help, you can book a meeting with our promote team. Lastly, in the applications tab is where you can see the candidates' applications coming through once they have started applying. Hope you found this training useful and you now feel that you got the tools to start recruiting in the system. Remember that if you need any help along the way, our support team is always there to help you. Happy recruiting!